So for this problem, to find the integral of this rational function, so we can solve this problem using the partial fractions, but first, we need to rewrite this given as 5x then over x plus 2 then times the quantity of x plus 3 to the power 2. Then we can separate now this denominator, but since we have these repeated linear factors, so this becomes x plus 2 then plus x plus 3 then plus for repeated linear factors. So this is x plus 3 to the power 2. Then for the numerator, so this is a, b, and c. Then we need to multiply this whole equation by this denominator. So times x plus 2, then times the quantity of x plus 3 to the power 2, and distribute to every term. So to this term, we can cancel now this denominator. So the remaining is 5x then equals distribute to this term. So we can cancel now this x plus 2. So the remaining is a times the quantity of x plus 3 to the power 2. Then plus distribute to this term. So we can cancel now this x plus 3 and 1x plus 3. So the remaining is b then times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Then plus distribute to this term. So we can cancel this x plus 3 quantity to the power 2 and the remaining is c then times x plus 2. Then this time from this equation, we need to find the values for a, b, and c. So to solve for a, So again, to solve for A, we need to make B and C equal to 0. And to make this B and C equal to 0, so we let X equals negative 2. Because if X is negative 2, so this becomes negative 2 plus 2, so B becomes 0. And if x is negative 2, so negative 2 plus 2, so c becomes 0. So to solve for a, so we let x equals negative 2. So b becomes 0 and c becomes 0. So we have now from this equation, so that's 5 times x is negative 2 then equals a times x is negative 2, then plus 3, quantity to the power 2. Then to simplify, so 5 times negative 2, this is negative 10, and negative 2 plus 3, that's 1, and 1 squared, that's 1. So therefore, a is equal to negative 10. Then on this case, since we cannot solve for B because B has two factors, so we need to solve for C first. And to solve for C, we need to make this B and A equal to 0. So to make this A and B equal to 0, so we let X equals negative 3 because if x is negative 3 so this becomes 0 so for x negative 3 so this becomes 0 so to solve for c we let x equals negative 3 so this a becomes 0 and b becomes 0 so we have now 5 
times x is negative 3 then equals c times x is negative 3 then plus 2 and this 5 times negative 3 this one is negative 15 then equals so c times this one is negative 1 then divide both sides by negative 1 therefore c equals positive 15 then this time since we have now the values for a and c so we can solve now for b and to solve for b so we can assign any values for x except x equals negative 2 and negative 3 so since it's easy for us to solve an equation for x equals 0 so we let x equals 0 to solve for b so this equation becomes 5 times 0 then equals a times 0 then plus 3 to the power 2 then plus so b times again x is 0 then plus 2 times 0 plus 3 then plus c times 0 then plus 2 then to simplify so this one is 0 then equals so 3 squared this one is 9 so this is 9a then plus so this 2 times 3 that's 6 so this one is 6b then plus this 0 plus 2 that's 2 so this one is 2c then we can substitute now the values for a and c so we have 0 equals 9 times a is negative 10 then plus 6b then plus 2 times c that's 15 and this becomes negative 90 plus 6b plus 30 then this negative 90 and positive 30 so this is negative 60 then plus 6b then transpose this to the other side so this becomes positive 60 equals 6b and to solve for b so divide both sides by 6 so therefore b equals positive 10 then this time since we have now the values for a c and b so we can substitute now these values to this equation so we need to replace this a b and c by these values so we have now the integral of a a is negative 10 then over x plus 2 then the dx then plus the integral of b b is positive 10 then over x plus 3 then the dx then plus c is 15 so we have the integral of positive 15 then over the quantity of x plus 3 to the power 2 then the dx then to find out the integral so we just need to put this constant outside so this is negative 10 then ln of this denominator so ln the absolute value of x plus 2 then plus for this term so put this constant outside then we have ln then the absolute value of this denominator x plus 3 then plus so take note for the last term so we're going to use the u substitution so we let u equals this denominator x plus 3 then du so since the derivative of x is 1 so we have 1 dx so therefore from this term so put this constant outside so this is 
15 din the integral of 1 din over x plus 3 quantity to the power 2 din the dx. Then to simplify, so this is negative 10 ln x plus 2 din plus positive 10 ln the absolute value of x plus 3 din plus. So this is 15 din the integral. Since x plus 3 is equal to u, then you need to bring up. So this positive 2 becomes negative 2. So we have now u to the power negative 2. And 1 dx is equal to du. So we can apply now the formula to find the derivative. So we have plus 10, then ln, the absolute value of x plus 3, then plus 15. So plus 1 for the exponent. So this is u to the power negative 1 over negative 1. Then plus c. Then substitute now the value of u. So plus 10 ln x plus then this positive 15 and negative 1. So this becomes negative 15. Then to make now this exponent positive, so we need to bring down. So this becomes positive and u. u is x plus 3. So this is x plus 3. Then plus c.